Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Imperfectly Empowered podcast. Today we have the dynamic duo of Adam Joblin and Dr. Rob Kelly on the show. Adam and Dr. Rob are world-renowned addiction experts as well as recovered alcoholics who team up to host the life-changing annual NeuroHero Conference in San Antonio, Texas, where brains meet science to rewire for success. Adam is a best-selling author, certified recovery mentor, and passionate about helping people break free from addiction to ignite the hero within. He has served over 9,000 clients through his high-level coaching program called The Hero Project. Dr. Rob Kelly is a world-renowned psychologist and neuroscience expert who has helped over 8,000 clients recover their lives from the disease of addiction and experience positive, lasting change here to share their neuroscience expertise and how you can retrain your brain for success welcome dr rob and adam well it is so lovely to have both of you on the show uh for those of you listening and watching if you have not yet listened to the episode where i interviewed dr rob you do not want to miss that one we really dove deep into the science of addiction, self-sabotage as the underlying problem, our external addictions as the outer problem. It was an excellent episode. Maybe one of these days we'll have to get Adam on for his own his own episode as well. But what's really cool about this conference that you guys host, I gave an introduction, the NeuroHero Conference. I was taking a look at it. It is, wow, it's an amazing, amazing program that you guys have put together. But what I think really packs a punch is the fact that not only are you both experts in neuroscience, but you've walked the walk. You're both recovered alcoholics per your, you know, your messaging, your story. And I'm, you know, I'm curious to hear from your perspectives as you have gotten to know each other. What are the through lines, the similar through lines in both of your stories and where are your stories different and how have you learned from each other because right isn't this the power of recovery is when you start to network and get those real life human resources and accountability so i'd love to hear your perspective on that similarities differences and what you have learned from each other hence this program that's just an incredible let's go first is that okay i'll go first so um so we met Adam on a, on a podcast, uh, like celebrity podcast. It's a close meeting. Uh, I was speaking on there and we got talking. Uh, so first of all, you have to realize that I don't really mix outside my job. Uh, I'm not a people person, despite the thousands of people I've helped. So when I met Adam, I remember flying over there for the first time. I've been a bit nervous because I've seen this guy, you know, on TV and on the you know, online, like he's this powerhouse. And he was waiting for us and he came out and he hugged me, but he hugged my wife just as much. And, and it, it was just like, oh my God, it makes you feel as if you're the most important person in Florida when I went there. But the other thing that he's had an effect on my life, not only his actions, um, which align with mine, and that is, it's not about money, it's about you, uh, is his physique. So I was about 350 pounds when, when I first met him. His physique, along with a patient that we were seeing, that had a great physique, but not as good as Adam's. Um, Did you just I, ask him to take his shirt off first? Were you like, oh, "Hi, nice <laughs> to meet you. Take your shirt oh, off." Oh no, I would do mine. I, I don't, you know, I don't think Adam would, but uh, yeah. So that had such a profound effect that I went on to lose 150 pounds over mm. the last uh, 18 months or so. Um, so that encouraged me, and and just an absolutely gentleman and knowledgeable, and you know, we share clients all the time because. I think, and I'm not just saying this because I really wouldn't be here, and neither would Adam. I think he's the greatest in the world of what he does, especially from mm -hmm. his back, what he does today. is held in high profile in my house and high esteem with the family. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I couldn't ask for a, a, a better friend, a podcast host, and, uh, you know, colleague and partners going into this. Absolutely amazing. My turn. Let me take the ball. Now, now this is never to blow smoke, and this is never because I love Dr. Rob. Um, so truth be told, Dr. Rob has some years 
he, he's a little bit older than me. He's a little more ahead of me. So not only is he, is he a brother, but he's like a big brother and a mentor in many ways. And, and also, I also like to stay in my lane, which is I would never want anyone to think that I'm an expert in neuroscience. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not my, that, that is exactly where I lean on Dr. Rob. And I have a profound respect for the medical profession. So I'm not a doctor. I am not a doctor. You know what I mean? I have a profound respect. And uh, Dr. Rob went through the school of hard knocks to get to where he was. I mean, he went through the school of hard knocks, the ups, the downs, the trials, the tribulations. Anything that I had seen was really self-inflicted, but not from the streets, not not hardships like Dr. Rob went through. It was it was nothing like that. Mine was way more of an emotional journey. Um, way, way more of insecurities and not knowing my place in the world and, and being confused and, and, and just being lost. So I really love and admire Dr. Rob for his tenacity and his perseverance of, of what he went through. And, you know, when we, to, to give you, I, I can't break confidentiality. It would be really unprofessional of me. But um, I had seen uh, Dr. Rob on a, a very famous TV show years before I even got sober called Doctor, The Doctors. And um, he, Dr. Rob had helped a client get sober that paved, you know, I got sober in 2006. So it was before Instagram. It was before smartphones. We were still all on, you know, Nextel or, or yeah, you know, yeah. we had time but texting wasn't even a thing yet yeah and, and you know people in rehab were like Colin Fell or, or Britney Spears or you know in the cover of People magazine and in touch and it looked yeah. to me they looked like the losers you know what I mean because I was a drinker you know I was like you know I mean, these these guys can't handle it but he when I had was in rehab he had helped um a client that's a very very world-renowned famous client uh get sober and and this guy I admired and I liked. And he was a superhero in his own way. And it gave me this idea and this faith of like, oh, I could do this too. Mm. So when so you know, you never know the ripple effect of, of what's right. gonna happen mm -hmm. in life. You just never know, you know what I mean? And at that time, I don't I didn't know that Dr. Rob had helped him on his path to recovery. I found that out right before I had met him. Mm -hmm. Um but then, like Dr. Rob said, we uh, I, I was invited into a a we call it a non-sanctioned celebrity meeting. You know, so you have all these A-list celebrities, and and it's it's to protect everybody's anonymity. And Dr. Rob was the speaker, mm -hmm. and he blew me away. And I had a client that was a little above and beyond my pay grade. You know what I mean? Like I, I love what I do. I'm great at what I do. I'm proud of what I do. But this, this young man, not young, but this man needed, this man needed a, some more help. He needs some more mm -hmm. direction. So I called Dr. Rob. I got his number and I said, look, I'm working with this guy, laid the whole thing out. And I said, he's a, he's a, he's a little much, you know, he's a, I, th this is a little above what I can do. Yeah. Would, you mind, would you mind taking him? And Dr. Which Robert is, let's just pause for a second. The best coaches have coaches, right? Yeah. Like, let's just hone in on that for a minute. And I know that Rob would say the exact same thing. It's like, you want to be a mentor, then you need to have a mentor. So let's just like highlight that right there. Yeah. yeah. And, and <laughs> anyway, Dr. Robert continue. was so kind. And he said, look, I'll tell you what, I'll have, a, I'll have a meeting with the guy. He said, but if I feel like I can help him, you know, he said, I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him my analysis. I'm going to give him my testing. And but if I could feel like I can help him, then we'll do it together. The only way I'll do this is if we do it together and you'll be the boots on the ground. And I'm going to, you know, and we took on that one client and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, we transformed this guy's life within a year, like to, from here to here. And then we duplicated it over and over yeah. and over. And what I love about Dr. Rob uh, I, it's hard for me not to talk about Janet, his wife, if you've never met him, but I'll try to keep it on Dr. Rob is, you know, the word authenticity is thrown around way too much. It's just thrown around that, you know what I mean? With social media and memes, yeah. he, he, what you see is what you get. Do you know what I mean? Dr. Rob is, he is who he is, who he is, who he is. And I can't tell you when you have somebody that comfortable in his own skin, it rubs off on you. Yeah. 
you know, so th- that that would be the main thing that I would want to say. I mean, he's truly the most authentic person I know. I love that. What would Adam, what would you say your expertise is? Yeah. So look, uh, I was I can't even explain it, but I really was genetically born to be a coach. And it's strange to say that in today's world, because now everybody wants to be one. And that I don't understand it personally, because, you know, I never wanted to be coach Phil Jackson. I wanted to be Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? I didn't want to be mm-hmm. Bill Belichick. I wanted to be Tom Brady. I wanted to be the star. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be the guy on the sidelines helping. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's a weird paradigm shift, but like my expertise is really breaking people to freedom. You know what I mean? And removing the roadblocks and taking them through their hero's journey so they could truly, truly find redemption. And, and mm-hmm. I love it. It's my life's work. It's my life's career. It's, it's, it's why, why I'm here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just curious, Dr. Rob, what would you say, like when you, when you are partnering with Adam, what do the two of you uniquely offer for somebody? Cause this is going to translate you guys into the conference. This is why I'm asking these questions. Cause I love seeing the partnership here, but Dr. Rob, I would love to hear like where in your perspective, do you two kind of fall into your sweet spot? I think it's because we bring both bring something different to the table. You know, it's not like I'm working with a psychologist that doesn't, you know, get me. Uh, so I know uh, the Heroes Project is I fully back that's amazing, you know, the way it changes people. And of course, I hit the, the, the neuro side, the neuroscience of getting someone from A to Z when they've only ever been from A to C. So Adam's side, my side complements each other um, amazingly because I, I don't have another coach that I work with. I, I'm very selective who I work with. I just won't work with anybody, um, even though I've had loads of offers. Uh, so it, it says a lot for me to trust Adam with not only my patients, but vice versa, uh, me with his clients. Uh, and it's just a pure complementary uh, duo act that covers everything. I mean, not just a picture, it covers everything of being the person that you want to be. Like I couldn't bring what Adam brings. This is the great part. I don't know what Adam does. He does something amazing with clients. When I say I don't, I don't understand some of it. It's that amazing. Um, and I also bring something amazing. So I think together we've, we've, we've cracked the code. I really believe we've cracked the code. Yeah. I love it. I mean, the actual website, which of course we'll include in the link, but it's the Neuro Hero Conference. And I'm curious, when you created the conference, for somebody who is interested in this concept of retraining your brain to succeed and and using our thoughts and our emotions as they affect our behaviors and tapping into that to reprogram our lives, what do you specifically bring in this content for attendees? Meaning if you're talking to somebody in the street, why they should come to the NeuroHero conference what is it exactly that they're getting when they come specifically what kind of content do you get doc you're with me okay so here we go buckle your seatbelt you know we're blessed that in today's world neuroscience and the way the brain works is starting to become more normal conversation so you have one of the leading doctors and the leading doctor in addiction and alcoholism in neuroscience teaching you about the brain how to change neural pathways. Dr. Rob can speak about the brain in ways that I can't. You know what I mean? The the Mm -hmm. like I I can't, I don't even know what what I mean. But he's explaining to you scientifically what's going to happen to you along the way. At the same time, giving you his testimony, exercises, and making, he's a completely transparent and it's a a lot of interaction. Meanwhile, you're also going to bring in my expertise of the coaching. Right. And then you're going to go through the hero's journey and you're going to watch how the neuroscience backs what the hero's journey and that full transformation is. So you get two days of interaction, exercises, the brain science, two different personalities that both are entertaining. Chris Mack, they're going to keep your attention. We fill it in with some speakers so you can also have some breathing room and, and hear some other people's ideas and philosophies. And you you bring this in and look. The first, anyone that tells you, oh, I knew this, I knew that, that everything in life is a risk. Everything in life is a risk. 
we did the first one and we we had we just we got about 90 people in we, we were still very happy you know what i mean we had the speakers we had the stages on the second day the news came we didn't have pr agents we had nothing like that jimmy the, like the word around town started finding us and we we saw after like th there's something here mm -hmm. there's really something here so the first one, it was in my backyard in Boca Raton, Florida. And now we're going to Dr. Rob's backyard in San Antonio, Texas. Oh, it's like a battle of the uh, the southern states here. Okay. Um, <laughs> you guys are so confident in the life-changing experience that per the website, you offer a full refund if your life doesn't change. So you say, get ready to be inspired and empowered at the NeuroHero Conference. If it doesn't change your life, we'll refund your money. Tell me what what attendees are saying when they leave. I mean, that's a bold that's a bold statement, and I love it. I love it. Tell me what people are saying when they leave. How is it changing their life? Forty eight hours, and they go home and they feel ready to take action. Well, the mind's been changed, and and the connection to a higher power, spiritual uncle Jimmy, uh, which means over the weekend your DNA will change. I mean, that's one of the things that everybody says. I oh, walk different, act different. It was, you know, obviously amazing. And uh, we've offered money back guarantees ever, ever since we started. No one's claimed it yet, but it's still there. You know, I'll need money back in your ticket. I'll give you five hundred dollars. That's how confident we are. Because when you follow direction of me, uh, sorry, Adam and I, and the speakers that that we present, we've got some major speakers that's going to kind of going to be presenting to you guys. You have no choice but to change. You have no choice to walk out there. Adam says it, amazing Clark Kent, Superman. You're going to walk out of that believing, truly believing, not just everyone wants to be a millionaire, write down everyone wants to be a millionaire, shout at all that crap that we see at conferences. We're going to guarantee that when you walk out, you're going to become a millionaire if that is your uh, success story. My success story at one time was money. If I could just get like $10 million in the bank, everything would be good. Have a guess what? I did, and I'm still miserable. My, my yeah. success story today is having my both of my daughters back in my life today and be able to work with people and hold conferences like this. But we never got a negative feedback of everyone. Because, hey, guys, give it us. You know, we're, we're grown men. You know, we can take it. But it's just we're saying and teaching things that nobody else is. And, and the yeah. reason we can say that is because we've looked at our programs and looked at others' programs. And to be honest with you, and Anna, you probably know this, the guys that are out there teaching other people, they've come through us. They've come to our program, you know, to, to be that person. We're the real deal. Uh, nobody else offers a money-back guarantee on the conference being terrible or not changing. Nobody does because you will change. I guarantee it will change. What would you say is one of the greatest differences between your conference and somebody else's? What is the practical difference somebody is going to experience in this 48 hours than in a 48-hour conference somewhere else? Absolutely. That's a great question. So let's break it down. It's what Dr. Rob really said, but I want to break it down to you. So I've been to a lot of conferences. Dr. Rob and I know some of the best speakers and influential minds there are, right? A lot of times it's about changing your state, getting you to a really excited state, right? It's mm -hmm. about affirmations and saying these affirmations out loud. It's about doing these exercises, right? And, and basically what you're doing is you're getting a very big, a, a big rah-rah and a jolt of energy but you're not changing the belief, the core belief that will actually take you from Clark Kent to Superman. That's why when you take the neuroscience, what's really going on in the brain and actually track it through the hero's journey, right? The separation from the old life, the initiation into who you're gonna become in the return home, okay? What's happening is, yeah, you're gonna change your state. Yeah, you're gonna change your focus. Yeah, you may change your languaging and yeah, you may even change how you feel at that minute, but you're going to keep these things. You know what I mean? These are going to be embedded in your in your brain. Like, think about it. neuroscience. You're dealing with mm -hmm. what we doctor in neuroscience. So it's in your brain. It's not just ch changing how you feel for those two days. Feelings leave as, listen, 20 minutes from now, I could be pissed off. An hour and a half mm -hmm. later, I could be happy. Feelings mm -hmm. are fleeting. But belief systems, core belief systems stay. That's why we yeah. really, really love this program. And it's, you know, look, we didn't just decide to have conferences. 
know what I mean? We, we started with clients together in 2019, 2020, and it wasn't one, it was one after we, we saw this process duplicate, triplicate. We were like, this is, there's something really powerful here. Let's bring it to the masses. Yeah. And I'm guessing you haven't expressly said this, but I think this is probably all over that 48 hours because I've interviewed Dr. Rob. And so, you know, one of the things that I'm guessing you guys do really well, what you just said is emotion is like motivation, right? It's like, I have clients, you know, fitness, and nutrition, I coached for several years and they were like, how do I stay motivated? Well, motivation is intangible, right? It's relying on emotions, which, you know, come and go like the seed. What you need is discipline. And that requires not only a change in belief system, but then also practical strategies that you can integrate into your life because you can believe something and not act on it. And so that idea of not only do you change what you believe, but then that is going to change your behavior as well and giving people tools. So I'm, I'm guessing, I don't want to make assumptions, but I'm guessing there are practical takeaways and tools that people are leaving with to start changing the behavior that aligns with the changed belief system. Is that accurate? 100% accurate. 100, that's exactly what we're going to do. No point in going away from that, not being able to change and not being able to go on and, and do great. Right. The, the people that come to this conference have been chosen to come. We have chosen them. So you have to, you've got yeah. to, have to be there um, and believe it. We don't do this for the money. We'll be lucky if we'll make a hundred dollar profit off this because we're going to put such a great show on. We just want to educate people. We want to have the life that we have. Uh, and if, if it's money's with you guys, great. And if it's relationships, we say God, family, discipline, action. God, family, discipline, action is what we need. Mm -hmm. Put God first or higher power, or Uncle Jimmy. You need to have a spiritual connection and an energy from the brain, mind over matter. The brains matter. So if we can program the mind to connect, then the mind can run the brain. So can you have a great day every single day? If you do your morning work, the mind will pick that up and distribute across the neural pathways and different parts of the brain, like the basal ganglia, the hypothalamus, the amygdala, three major players for alcoholism and addiction. Once we get them programmed every day, it's impossible not to be great. I mean, it literally is impossible because people don't believe. Because of childhood trauma, people think in the past, somebody somewhere, and if you're in this position, guys, I want to apologize to you because somebody's put that there. Someone has said, you're not good enough, you know, you're there, da, da, da. We, I had a patient uh, six months ago, 12 months ago, and he, I always say this because this is a prime example. Uh, he had two sisters, and his father used to give his sisters $50 every Christmas, uh, birthdays, and only give him $25. So what he grew up subconsciously is believing that he wasn't worth $50, and he was less than his sisters, and therefore less mm -hmm. than other people. During a session, uh, I got my wife to come into the session and give me a, a bunch of papers like it was important. But what he didn't see, there was an envelope underneath with $50 in it. So when I had the envelope, I was going through the story, I leant over and I give him the envelope and he opens it. There was a $50 that he is worthy today. That he does count. And we both cried and he went out. That guy right now is building a freaking empire in San Antonio. That kind of stuff, you're going to be empowered when you get there, you're going to be full of energy. You're going to do, you know, go out there and do great things. Uh, just be prepared to change, guys. That, that's all we ask. Be prepared to change. We're not doing this for money. We're, we're doing it to pass the education that we have, especially me. I'm 62. You know, I'm not going to be around forever and hopefully I'll retire. So I want to give as many people. Me and Adam want you better than us. We want you earning more money, having a happy life, than us. We've set the stage here. We want to take you here. Because every single human being, unless you have brain damage, of course, is capable of getting there. Most people walk around 45 to 50% of their capability and capacity when it comes to greatness. Let us take you to 100% over the Friday and Saturday. And, you know, it, we're passionate. You, if it didn't work... I don't want to be the first one going, hey, Dr. Ron, this, this ain't going to happen. You're back <laughs> you know, it's yeah. hard to do a conference when you haven't got a huge, huge name like Tony Robbins because you're putting your life, you're putting everything you have forward. And the biggest fear you have is what, what if nobody shows up? Well, I'll tell you something now. If nobody shows up, they're not meant to show up. That's what mm -hmm. I've learned with my 30 years of doing this. The people that need to be there will be there. And that's okay. all. You know, we're not selling this conference. We're advising you about this conference. We're telling you about it. Whether you come or not, personally, I don't care, to be honest. 
But if you want to better your life, we're here. I, I don't need, we don't need your money. I can tell you now yeah. that Adam's a very rich man and I'm a very rich boy. Don't do this for that. Please no. let us bring this conference to San Antonio to better the lives of other human beings. I love it. I love it. Who would you say um, primarily uh, tends to gravitate towards this conference? The backgrounds. Are a lot of these people, have they struggled with addiction? Or are they entrepreneurs? Are they business? You know, not that there's a one size fits all. And obviously when we're talking about the brain, it is relevant to all of us. But do you tend to see a trend in the people who it especially is resonating with and, and pooling in? And I'm I'm scared to answer this question. Let me tell you why. Yeah, I hear that. So, so the reason I'm scared is if you try to please everyone, you please no one. Yep, that's right. Having said that, if you saw how diverse our crowd was, the answer is going to sound like everybody. Yeah. There were people in that have just started recovery. There were people in long-term recovery that were lost, that want to do something new with their lives. There were doctors, medical established, well-known doctors in the room. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of event planners. Do you know I mean, I, I, mm -hmm. there, there was legends, like absolute legends that I can't break their name. You know what I mean? Like it was... It was an extremely diverse, 50-50 male and female. Mm -hmm. All colors were represented. Mm -hmm. All colors of skin. So, you know, maybe I can answer that better for us after round two. Yeah. Because our job, we never thought about pleasing everyone. We thought about, you know, Dr. Rob and I are always about how many people can we help. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. you know, we, we ran our lives into the ground when we cared about ourselves, both of us. That's mm -hmm. the main thing we have in common. You know what I mean? Think about yourself and run it into the ground. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? mm -hmm. So our lives are dedicated. Help, but if you go from the people we've helped so far as clients and this, it, it there wasn't one class. Yeah. Well, and I think you answered the question beautifully because the reality is it's it's not like either or it's both. And it's this idea that if you're meant to be there, then you need to be there, whether you're there because you are struggling with addiction and want, you know, a mindset to overcome, or you're an entrepreneur and need to, you know, break through those limiting beliefs, or you're a mom who's struggling in her marriage because you're exhausted and you need to retrain your brain to live with gratitude and see the positives in your life. Yeah. So I love this idea that there really aren't limitations. Limitation is simply whether or not you feel that you are supposed to be there. So if you are in any way thinking like, wow, that sounds like something I would really benefit from, it's the neuroheroconference.com. You can read more about the conference. We also are going to include the link to buy the tickets. And you know, for those of you listening who have been here with me before, I just want to give a little personal shout out to this. This is literally what we do in my early morning habit program that we just launched this year. This concept of, for me, what I teach on is emotionally intelligent gratitude practice through God's word and prayer and how that revitalizes from the inside out using science and research-based strategies to help clarify these words that get thrown around, but nobody really understands how to actually implement them in their lives. And it goes to show the power of how what we think and believe truly affects our behavior and how well we will thrive on this side of eternity. So if you are interested in more, be sure to check this out. It is a very, very reasonable price. Remind me the price, just throw it out. I remember looking at it and being like, wow, that's incredibly reasonable. Uh, Doc, I don't even remember. Is it 200, <laughs> 239? Two, uh, okay, the fact that they don't know the cost of their yeah, own we, conference, you guys, is proof. They're not in uh, it for the money. <laughs> I, mean, I think like, it is. Yeah, we. I, I have no idea. Just, you know, jump on it. I think it's like two. I think it's like two forty nine. You guys, for a forty eight okay. hour conference, I have spent way more on a probably less beneficial conference. Um, so it's incredibly well priced. Where is there anything else that you want to encourage people with or throw out there? Where can people follow you? Learn more about what you guys are doing. Obviously, AnnaJarron.com, Kelly.com, all the social medias. Uh, we have social medias out there covering everything that we do. Go find us. Go Google us. Uh, come on, like us, friend us. You know, if you want to chat, great. Come on, have a chat with us. We've always got time, even though we're crazy busy right now. But, you know, if if you're in 
that place that we all know back at, you know, you've lost everything, the wife's gone, the kids are gone, you sat there, um, come find us and message us. We'll, we'll spend as long as it takes talking to you on the phone uh, or on Messenger to get you to the place that you need to be. We'll give you a pep talk that will change your life completely. So just come and find us, guys. Uh, whatever we can do for you, we're going to do for you. There's still, I think there's two sponsorships left. We have like eight sponsors, we want 10. So there's two sponsorship slots left. I'm telling you now, the sponsors are met, the Hanley Center that Adam brought on is mind blowing because what they're actually saying, Hanley Effect, what they're actually saying is they believe in what we do. I, I mean, I've I've lectured at Harvard University. I've written a white paper uh, on between the hospital for Harvard University and Hanley trumps that. So if they believe in it, I know that your sponsors, get on there, two sponsors available, come and get your tickets. We love you to bits and uh, I don't know, man, maybe we'll give you a quick surprise. Hey, we'll give you, we'll give you our books free, how's that? There you go. Love it. Well, I just, I really pray God's richest blessing over both of you guys, this conference and pray that really that the Lord will be present in people's lives and that people will be changed and truly believe just how valuable they have been designed to be and that they truly can change Clark Kent to Superman. There you go. We all have that superhero in us. Thank you guys. Amen. Thank you for watching the Imperfectly Empowered podcast. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking below. And if you missed our last video, then be sure to check it out right here. We'll see you next time on the podcast. Your story matters and you are loved.